How's it going? Armor Genie here. Welcome to another video. This one's completely unscripted and it's probably going to be mostly unedited too. You may see on the screen here I have a claim timer that's about to run out. Whew, there it is. Alright, so this video is just going to be all about the Corsair and my first thoughts on it. I have not seen it yet. And I'm very excited. Hangar 5. Oh. oh yeah. Times like this I regret turning off the uh, markers. Oh, there we go. Oh, sounds so Drake. Little nuts and bolts rattling around. I love it. Alright. Oh wait. What'd I do? Are the floodlights? Oh, okay. They're on the top of the ramp, and I'm thinking maybe those two. I don't think those were on before, were they? Let's go see. Okay, maybe that was my imagination. So it's just these ones then. Lights at the top of the ship that overlook the ramp. Still a very cool touch. All right. Let's see here. Actually, that's what I wanted, and that one. Oh, it's such a complicated sound. Do you hear all the little... Sounds like... Lots of little individual metal parts clanging together. I love it. Okay, here's the power room. I say power room. I guess equipment room would be more accurate. Do I have a light switch? Yes. <sighs> Again, just so much detail. All the cables. Okay, so I've done a full loop here. Um, before I get myself lost, yes, okay, this is the door we came in. So, immediately to the right, it appears to be the... This is not a door, is it? No, this looks like a door. Okay, so to the right, it looks like uh, airlock. Separate light switches again? No. no. Airlock. Let's open that one up. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, very cool. It's like a, a red pull handle. Vent. Ooh, I don't know if I can close this again. Can I reach without falling out? So close. Got it. Looks like some suit lockers. Weapons racks. Uh, for all our exploration that we'll be doing through the airlock. suit lockers. It looks like a total of four. At least on this side. Is there more on the other side? No. Okay, so just the door on that side to the airlock. Alright. Okay, so straight back gets us to the mass. Uh, 
don't see right off the bat any sort of major changes from the videos we've seen. It does feel... Um, oh, I don't know, actually. I was initially going to say it feels a little bit bigger than it looked in the video, but I guess not. Okay, so the rooms are right opposite where the um, kitchen is. Or mess? Or galley? I guess it's all of those together. Alright, so it looks like there's a uh, bathroom in here. Fold down combo toilet. Okay. Good. i open this door. Last one. Imagine it's the same. Yeah. So let's go look in. I'll take the middle one. Is there lights for in here? There is. I love these button panels. So we got our cargo net up there. Bed. And a locker. And that's pretty much it. Pretty bare bones. No window. Alright. I'll see this elevator. Does she also go down? Oh. Two levers. Roof. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Individual levers. This one says surface. This one says... Roof. Surface. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Kind of want to... Wait, what is this one? Oh, mess hall. Oh, okay, so you can go direct. That's so, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why that's so satisfying that it's individual levers, but it really is. Uh, I'm going to save going on the roof, I think, until um, I'm in a picturesque spot on the planet. Turret. Turret. Alright, here's the real deal. Alright, what is this? Is this captain quarters? Captain's quarters, I'm guessing. Looks about the same. Alright, there's the log out. I'll check the other ones later. Oh, this cockpit is great. Do I slide forward at all? Oh, yeah. Is everything... Man. Separate wing extend retract button. Oh, I wonder if we can put the gear down separately then. Individual buttons that match their labels, coupled, G safe, yep, G safe, ESP, cruise, proximity flight assist, which I know that I want to be disabled, open exterior, lock all doors, oh, it's a physical lever, I love it, okay, where was that flight ready? Uh, 
flight ready. Oh man. Press take off. You are here to launch. Oh man. Uh let's see, visibility's pretty good. I'll have a look at the co pilot seat. Um in a minute. I'm gonna go find a nice place to land. Looks like great visibility up. I'm assuming the co pilot seat's gonna have much better visibility in the down direction. All right, let's look at the outside. Oh man, it takes up quite um, a small amount of space with the wings up like that. Oh, the engines sound very interesting. Ooh, that looks like it might be a bit tight. Oh. Ah. Well, look, the gear is kind of turned in. That's strange, but kind of cool. All right, gear down. Ah, okay. So that's good to know. So probably put the gear up inside the hangar. It would give me a little more vertical room. I wasn't sure if the gear... Um, would fold the wings down in the hangar, which would have been bad. Okay, so maybe it's a VTOL button. Oh, wh oh, what? It has little mini VTOL thrusters. I didn't know that. I mean, just looking at the design, now that I'm seeing it, it seems kind of obvious that those rotate down, but I, I never noticed that. Does anything happen at the front? Doesn't look like it, so it's kind of Cutlass Black style. Very cool, okay. Um, is it the same as the Scorpius for the folding? Yep. Okay, so it's the same uh, transform button as what's found on the Scorpius. Afterburner. Oh yeah, look at those engines. They look like uh, <laughs> 21st century technology <laughs> which is great it, it fits the aesthetic I think Let's see I'm trying to get zoomed in here a bit look at this engine when I hit the afterburner well I need to slow down a bit first go down and then I'll give it a bunch of thrust. All right, now we want to speed up. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Ah. It feels appropriately weighty. It feels a little bit like a Connie, although definitely has, once you get past that SCM, it just wants to drop the nose down, it feels like. Which, I haven't tried VTOL yet, so that might be the problem. Let's see. Let it recover. Now it seems okay. I'm not having to pull up too hard. does not feel like there's any sort of... See, look at that nose drop. I let go. And now I'm pulling. This is full pitch up right now. Full pitch up. Full pitch up in VTOL. Uh, it does seem to help. Was also probably going a little fast. Check out that co-pilot seat while I've got something to look at underneath. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Nice, nice view at the bottom. Still a little bit obstructed, but obviously better than the downward view in the in the upper deck. Yeah. Not bad at all. Doesn't look like there's any weapon control. Uh, oh, wait. Into a remote turret. Okay. So just the remote turret on the top. Which looks like two badgers. Okay. Looks like we cannot shoot our own wing off, so that's good. size fours and two size threes. field of view, or field of fire. Oh yeah, I can shoot all the way out there. Very wide. I guess it makes sense, they're all the way on the nose. Vitals working. Oh, I gotta put these wings up. Unfold the wings while I'm sitting on the gear? Oh, I can't. That's problematic. I'll just flip through, but. Alright. I kind of like that you have that control, though. Okay, let's go see that elevator. I go past it? No? I don't know where I am anymore. Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Pull the big lever. I love it. It's, that is just... I, that's... I don't know why... Like, I cannot put my finger on why it's so cool to have it elevated to the roof, but it just is. Find somewhere with a nice view and... Chill out. Come on, you can do it. There we go.
check out. Oh, I didn't even do anything. Is that on a timer? On the railing that goes up on that side. I just noticed that. Um, hop into a. Eat here. Or, sorry, a turret. Where are you? There you are. Two badgers. Canted outwards? It might just be the field of view. No, it's straight. Yeah, it's parallel with the other guns. So you can definitely shoot straight forwards, but up to a certain range. I think the 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 width of the guns would be an issue at close range. Like the width of the hull, essentially, how far apart the turrets are. Okay, so I just tested bag logging in the Corsair. Um, granted, this is PTU, um, and I logged back in. However, I'm naked and also headless, uh, which I thought was odd. And I thought, oh well, um, I'll take it back to the station now so we can look at the loadout manager. And yeah, the uh, pilot seat and cockpit is gone, which is which is a new one. All right, well, I think I'm just going to stop it here. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this style of video, just a first look at a new ship. Thanks. See ya.